Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and Pokemon Home has just been released within the last two weeks or something like that. And it's already the greatest Pokemon game of all time. Why, you ask? Well, because after over 17 years, it is the game that finally gave cast forms, weather forms, shiny variations. That's right, up until Pokemon Home, if a shiny cast form changed forms with the weather, its weather forms would look exactly the same as a regular cast forms. It is a terrible injustice to a wonderful Pokemon and Game Freak has finally remedied it. And they look great. The hail one is even my channel colors. Is it my new channel mascot? Absolutely. That's not the focus of this video. It's just something I felt a strong need to talk about and it made sense to do it in a Pokemon home related video, but Anyways, Pokemon Home has just come out and allowed people to transfer all their old Pokemon from previous games into it for the first time. And I, of course, did the same with a lot of Pokemon so much so quickly that I've already completed my Pokemon Home National Pokedex. I thought it would be fun to take a nostalgia trip through my old Pokemon boxes and try to explain the significance of all of my 2400 plus Pokemon that I currently have in my Pokemon Home. Many of them I'll know the meaning and significance of immediately, but some I won't have a clue, so it should be fun to try and figure it out. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's dive into my attempt to explain all of my Pokemon in Pokemon Home. So here we are in my Pokemon Home on the Switch. Obviously I'm not gonna record the mobile version cause it's way glitchier and you can't see the boxes clearly. But as you can see, National Pokedex is complete because I'm amazing. We're gonna filter it by Pokedex status, not yet registered. There's nothing. I'm incredible. But now the number deposited here is uh, over 2,400. As I said, I've got a buttload of Pokemon in here and I don't think I need to connect again. We're just gonna do it uh, this way. So here we are in box one. And the first thing you will immediately notice is that all of these Pokemon are Kanto shiny Pokemon. Well, I do really like that the that Pokemon Home shows all shiny Pokemon as shiny. You don't have to click on them to see if they're shiny like in the main series games. So this is really nice. And if some of you may remember this, but some of you may not know, but when Let's Go came out, I decided I wanted to try to defeat every master trainer in that game, which there's one for every single of one of the 153 obtainable Pokemon in that game. Wanted to beat every single one with just shiny Pokemon. And I did it. I hunted and the vast majority of these shiny Pokemon are caught either in my Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. There's a few that I sent in from Pokemon Go, like Meltan and Melmetal had to be, um, but you know, there's a couple others like Aerodactyl and Pinsir, but the vast majority are, I hunted myself, took me a long time, and I defeated every master trainer using just the shiny Pokemon except Mew because you can't get a shiny Mew in Let's Go. Uh, you guys should watch the montage video for that. It's one of my lowest viewed videos of like the last year, which is a shame because I'm really proud of that accomplishment. I think it's my most impressive accomplish accomplishment in any Pokemon game ever. So you should watch it. I'll, I'll put it up in the cards. But yeah, this is that I just brought them straight in, sorted in, uh, in Pokedex order. These are just Let's Go Shinies. I've got all of them over here. They, they keeps going <laughs> uh, all the way until almost ending right here. The uh, the only one that's not in here is Hexagod, my shiny Melmetal. And now you can see we are in my mythical box. This is, I collected all of my mythical Pokemon. The only Pokemon that's not mythical here is the uh, Vivian, which is the, I can't remember what, I think it might be called Fancy Pattern Vivian, but it knows Hold Hands, that move I talked about in my 15 Pokemon moves you've never heard of video. It's like the only Pokemon that ever learns it or something like that. Um, but yeah, so all my mythical Pokemon, you may notice that there are some missing. Mew is not here. It is elsewhere in these boxes. I will get to that in a minute. Um, I am missing Hoopa because, so it's registered in my decks because I think home like takes your decks from bank. So if it's registered in like your bank Pokedex, then you don't actually have to physically bring it into home to register it here. Because my Hoopas, I had two of them, never left my Omega Ruby, but they're registered here on my game. And 
I don't have them here because after that registered, I was looking through my boxes. I'm like, look, let me look at my Hoopas and I realized they are super hacked. Like, dear God, they're not legit. Like one of them says it was hatched. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know how I got them. I did not do that hacking myself. I don't know if a friend traded them to me and I forgot about it. I have no memory of getting those hacked Hoopa, but as soon as I realized, I was like, oh God, and I released them because they can never come off of that game anyway because they're hacked to crap. But I think that's the only mythical Pokemon I'm missing. Marshadow is not here, but I do have it. It's in my sword. I love Marshadow. I wanted to train mine up, you know, EV train it, hyper train it. So I'm using it in my sword. That is why it is not here. Um, all of these were obtained myself through various events. Uh, this One of these Celebes is like from the bank event. One of these is from Win 2011. No idea what that is. Um, this is probably the, a lot of the, most of these are like the 20th anniversary monthly distributions. The only mythicals here that I did not obtain myself from an event are this Keldeo, which was traded to me by someone. I posted a tweet about needing a Keldeo. And I had, I had a, this Jirachi here is from a Gen 4 GameStop distribution. And I had an extra one somehow. I got two, maybe on like two different game cards. And then I like, Put them in the same thing. I don't know, but I had an extra, so I traded them my uh, one of my extra Jirachis for this Keldeo. And this Volcanian, I never got a Volcanian, was gifted to me by my YouTube partner manager, Dominic. Uh, we met up at an event at the YouTube space shortly after Home came out, and I mentioned that I was missing a Volcanian. And so he was like, you can have mine. I have no use for it. So that's how I got a Volcanian. So shout out to Dom. Thanks, buddy. I have a Volcanian now, which is great. So really, I just need to find a, a Hoopa in my... Mythical collection is complete. And uh, so if you have one that you don't care about, hit a brother up. So next is box six. And here's where we start to get into my incomplete living decks. I have never assembled a living decks in my life. Sounded like too much work. <laughs> but now that I had just a ton of Pokemon in home, mostly unorganized, I was like, you know what? I'm to amuse myself in my free time. I'm going to try to start to assemble a living decks. Um, I made it so that it has to be non-shinies because obviously I have a ton of shiny Kanto Pokemon, but I want the shinies to stay together. So the living decks has to be non-shiny Pokemon. And I've started organizing them. Uh, you'll notice there are no Alola forms or Galarian forms with these, you know, the Rattata and Raticate aren't here. That's because I started to do this and then realized if they add any more regional variants, like with the DLC, I'm gonna have to shift everything. And then I tweeted about that and someone said, well, I just put them at the end of the region that they're from. And I was like, that's brilliant. So once I get to gen seven, my Lola forms will go there. Once I get to gen eight, my Galarian forms will go there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's incomplete. Um, missing War Turtle. I have a shiny War Turtle, but like I said, I don't want the shiny to go there. Um, no gaps here, no gaps here. Wow, you can almost, <laughs> this Dugong is almost invisible. Um, no gaps here. My Kanto one is actually totally complete except for War Turtle. Um, and then there's the Mew. Like I said, I told you you'd see the Mew later. It's here. The other mythicals will be put into this living decks as I go. Um, I've not finished. As you can see, there are some there's some gaps of Pokemon that I am missing, but I do have all the unknown forms as of last night. <laughs> I was doing this last night and I had, all I had was unknown G, which is, which is this one. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get the rest of the unknown forms. Where do you get them? The most recent place you can get them is Gen 6 Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire on a Mirage Cave, which changed every day. So I was like, let me see if my the unknown one is there today for me, and it was. So I was like, oh God, I gotta get all these tonight. So it took me like an hour and a half, but I caught every unknown form, transferred them in, uh, and now they're here. And this is my living decks so far. I've got tons of Pokemon left and I'm gonna assemble it over the course of the next month. And then once I finished it, I'll start filling in the gaps. Unless I have some extra changes. Like I had some gaps in Kanto, so I just linked to my Let's Go. And it's like, do I have this Pokemon? Yes, toss it in. Before I move on from this Living Dex section though, there are some Pokemon in here that I wanted to draw attention to because I think they're really interesting. And so one of them is this Golem, level 69. Very nice. This Golem is actually from my Soul Silver, my first ever playthrough of Soul Silver. This is my playthrough team Golem. I've got him in here in my game. He's in Adamant Nature, which I didn't actually know, so that's pretty cool. This Ampharos, also from my Soul Silver playthrough. 
uh, another team member that I've brought into here, which is cool. <laughs> He's impetuous and silly. Uh, it's me as a Pokemon. And then I wanna talk about my Kanto legendaries. Notice how this Articuno is in a Cherish Ball and it has Snow Cloak. I was sorting through, I got this Articuno, put it in there and I was like, wait a second, why is it in a Cherish Ball? Why does it have Snow Cloak? And then I realized, I had to look this up because I'd completely forgotten. There was a serial code event distribution back in like 2015, 2016 to the Gen 6 games of hidden ability legendary Kanto birds. You had to be a part of the trainer card newsletter and they would send you a code that was unique to you and you could get hidden ability legendary birds in Cherish Balls and I got all three. Here's my static Zapdos and my flame body Moltres all in Cherish Balls. I'd completely forgot about this. Thought it was super cool when I found them. And while the hidden ability aspect isn't as cool as it used to be because now you can get them relatively easily with the virtual console versions of Gen 1. You just catch them there and transfer them into bank and they will have their hidden abilities because all virtual console Pokemon are hidden ability. Um, but it's so cool that I have them in Cherish Balls. It's like one time event that, you know, you can't get them anymore. So maybe I'll use this Cherish Ball Moltres as my egg hatching Pokemon once I can put them into Sword and Shield. But speaking of virtual console, this Mewtwo, this level 100 Mewtwo has its hidden ability, Unnerve. It is from the Virtual Console. I got this from Wonderbox. The bulk wonder trading you do in the Pokemon Home mobile app, a Mewtwo just showed up. Level 100, it seems to be legit. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's it, if it's not legit, it was made to be legit, so I'm choosing to believe it's legit. And I just, I got a Mewtwo from Wonder Trade, which is one of the wildest things I've ever gotten from that before. So this is it. It's very cool. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a wild thing to get. So now that we've gotten through my first couple boxes, which are very organized, we are moving on into the Wild West of things not being organized. Probably for a lot of these Pokemon, I'm just gonna tell you, I have no idea what this is. I probably just caught it from the decks and I still have it. Um, but if I scroll through and see something that like, I'm like, oh, that's, that's something that I think was a playthrough Pokemon or something like that. Then I will tell you, but none of these Pokemon are above level 40, so none of them are playthrough Pokemon. None of these look like they're playthrough Pokemon. Mon. <laughs> Did I name it that? Oh, that's from a trade. <laughs> Stopfen. Nothing of particular. Oh, here are my dittos. I, I spent a long time, I think back in Gen 6. Let me check this summary. Yep, Unover, Unover region. I spent a long time back in Gen 6 getting a ditto of every single nature. Uh, didn't worry about IVs, it was just for the sake of passing natures down when I wanted to breed a certain nature onto a Pokemon. But I don't know if this is all of them. This is at the very least most of them. <laughs> most of my dittos of every nature that I have gotten here now and could bring them into Sword and Shield anytime I want. Probably will, honestly. Oh, it continues. Look at that. Some Bagon breed jacks down here. This is Frozone. What game are you from, Frozone? Where's my super suit? The Kanto region. I wish it would tell me what generation. Is this a Gen 3? Or is this from Let's Go? No, it would have a Let's Go emblem, wouldn't it? This one's from the Sinnoh region. Wow, I have no idea where these legendary birds came from. I have, I, see, that's the fun thing about this, is just seeing these Pokemon and having no idea what their origins are. Uh, ooh, these are hidden ability, uh, hidden ability Unova starters. Contrary, Reckless, Shell Armor. These are from, I think, a Pokemon Bank event a years ago. And I forgot to mention that, that reminds me, the uh, Johto starters that I have are also event hidden ability Johto starters. Sheer Force, Flash Fire, and Leaf Guard. So I have hidden ability, hidden abilities of those. So if you need any, well, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be the one to give them to you, but I have them, so that's cool for me. Nothing else in this box is particularly interesting or exciting. Um, no idea, oh, Jane sent me a Salamence at some point. <laughs> some of these Pokemon I, Krakatoa, wow. Did I name that? Yeah, Michael, wow. Look at me nicknaming things. From the Hoenn region. Don't know which gen, <laughs> and I can't. <laughs> that's one of the, oh wait, the Hexagon. The Hexagon is gen six, okay. That's right, I remember the Hexagon is the gen six, the plus sign is gen seven. If it's not in one of those, then it's something else. Do the Let's Go Pokemon have certain symbols? We should look at that. Okay, if it's Let's Go, it has little ears, as you can see at the top next to the shiny symbol. 
So that's how we know if it's from Let's Go. Pardon the interruption, but I just want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor for this video, Raycon. Raycon makes super high quality wireless earbuds that sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know, but start at about half the price. They come in lots of fun colors and patterns, but they're also stylish and discreet, with no dangling wires to worry about. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Cardi B, and myself <laughs> are obsessed with Raycons, and for good reason. Raycon sent me their latest model, the E25, and it's the best one yet. Each charge gives you six hours of playtime, and the charging carrying case holds 24 hours of battery life. They also have easy Bluetooth pairing, more bass, fun new colors, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. If you want some super comfortable, great sounding, and reasonably priced earbuds, then Raycon earbuds are what you need. Head to buyraycon.com slash MNJTV, linked in the description below, to get 15% off your order. Thanks so much to Raycon for sponsoring and for the earbuds, but now back to the video. So I guess if it's that one that was from the Kanto region, what Pokemon was I looking at? That's right, this Articuno. If it doesn't have the plus, or if it doesn't have the let's go symbol and it's from the Kanto region and it doesn't have its hidden ability, I think this is a fire red or leaf green Articuno. Unless you could get them in Harkle and Soul Silver, but I think the region is based on the name. I believe if you catch it in the Kanto region, but you but the Kanto in Heart Gold or Soul Silver, it still will say from the Johto region. I think. So I think this is a Gen Three. Uh, I think this is a Gen Three Articuno. So that's cool. I don't see anything here that really stands out to me. Uh, same situation here. A lot of Torchic breed jacks. Fun fact, I have a shiny Torchic, I think later in the boxes, that I think came from the same batch of trying to breed a competitive speed boost Blaziken. And of course, the shiny didn't have speed boost because life is terrible. Here's another batch of seemingly random, mostly Hoenn, actually not mostly at all, it's completely random. So nothing of particular excitement here. Nothing that really stands out to me here either. So many of these boxes are just like boxes I assembled over the years trying to complete Pokedexes in various games, like an X and an Oris, and they've just kind of been conglomerated from all sorts of different generations over the years. So my boxes are a complete mess, <laughs> as you can see, but that's why I'm doing the Living Dex thing, because I, I want to organize it to at least some degree. Washington, this looks like a competitive, is this a Gen 5 competitive? In the Hoenn region. No, it's Gen 6. Yeah, it's got the hexagon. Okay. Must have used that for something. I don't remember what. <laughs> Here's a shiny event Xerneas. There was some distribution of that. I got the Xerneas and the Zygarde, and I didn't get the Yavoltal. <laughs> okay, so a couple of these Pokemon here are from my brother's White 2 game. Justin, he I got him to play White 2. It took a lot of pestering to get him to finally finish it. He clearly wasn't that into it, but he named all his Pokemon after Greek gods. So if you, if there's a Pokemon in here that's a Greek god, Athena, Hephaestus, Poseidon, Ares. Oh God. <laughs> um, those are those are from his playthrough. So a couple of these, these three, I rescued them from his white too before. Who even knows what happened to that save file? Oh, a Suicune. That's cool. Oh, this is my, yeah, there's another heart gold, uh, heart gold Pokemon. There's another heart gold playthrough Pokemon. I mean, I added it to my team after I beat the league for the first time. I like had a Polyrath and I swapped it for a Suicune. Wow, it's timid. Man, how did I end up with good natures on a playthrough team? <laughs> so yeah, that's another four of my six heart gold Pokemon we have found. No, three. We found three so far. So that's cool. Another box of, uh, wait, Tango. Have I named more than one <laughs> if, you're, if you're keeping up with the Metronome Battle Federation on my second channel, which you should, it's so much fun, the draft league for Metronome Battles, I named my Ludicolo Tango, and clearly, that is something I have thought of before. <laughs> Here is a shiny Garchomp. This is not mine. It's from Susie, and I have no idea where it came from. Just, I, I I think I like, it was Justin's game at one point that I like removed all the Pokemon from 
before like one of us started it over or something and this was on there. I, I don't, I, this is not my Garchomp. I don't know where it came from, but it's here now, so it exists. Also, here's another rant from Susie, whoever Susie is. Maybe this was like a used game version we got or something like that, but this is Rontar, the Luxray. Again, OT Susie. There's several random Pokemon around here from that. Another Susie Pokemon. That's gotta be what it is, some used version we bought. Another a Shiny Alakazam from Susie. Again, that is in our my possession now. <laughs> yeah, this whole, this entire box, it seems, are OTs that are not mine. And so like that that is this is enforcing the theory that we we bought some used version it just had a bunch of pokemon on it and I just removed all of them put them on some other game to for safekeeping and now they've ended up in my home so I have all of these decent pokemon now <laughs> It's continuing here. Here's another, who is Susie? We must solve the Susie mystery. But here's Mewtwo, Steffi, it's a German Mewtwo. I have a German Mewtwo somehow, so that's 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 fun. This is uh, Black 2 Ampharos. I recognize the name. This is a Black 2 uh, Flygon. That might be Black 2. Yeah, Unova region, there's a good chance it is. There's a box with several Charmander breed checks. I made several competitive Char Charizards and Charmeleon, or various Charizards back in Gen 6 when I was like super into the Megas. Um, so these are here. These might be Black 2 playthrough Pokemon 2 that I just didn't nickname, which is weird that the Flygon and the Ampharos are nicknamed, but these are not, but I remember using them at some point. Wish I could remember my Black 2 team better. It was it was a team that wasn't just six. I like rotated around like eight, nine, maybe even 12 different Pokemon around. This sock feels like that's from that game. Maybe I nicknamed some of them and not others. How strange of me. I'm weird. Oh, this is an event Entei. Whoa, this is a discovery that I am just making. 2018 Legends. This was maybe like one of those like card distributions that I like got the Entei for. I think this was on, yeah, it's got the, the little clover. So it's from a gen seven game, huh? And here's my, one of my, I think this is the Ultra Sun Solgaleo. Cause the one that I used on my Sun playthrough team, I called Nebulon, not Nebby. Here are some, what I believe to be competitively perfect. Galarian Darumaka, I've been shiny hunting one of my games, still haven't gotten one but I put some of the competitively perfect ones on here. Maybe they're breed jacks, I don't remember. These are some contrary Snivy breed jacks. These are some old low tad breed jacks. Magnemite breed jacks, don't know why. More Torchic breed jacks. This was from a wonder box, that's why this Nidoran is randomly in here. These are these are just breed jacks. I think from my gens, either five or six games. These are Shuckle breed jacks. Oh, that reminds me. Wait, we gotta go back to the living deck segment. This Shuckle here, I want to I want to give a shout out. It's called Stonewall. Back in X version, I I had a three v three like online single battle team, which was a Mega Charizard X and Starmie and Shuckle. And on two separate occasions, Starmie and Charizard went down. And then by using the stall strategy of Infestation, Toxic, Protect, and Shell Smash, holding I believe leftovers, I swept. <laughs> teams of three on two separate occasions. One of the most impressive things I've ever done, sweeping people with a shuckle. So I'm really glad I still have this shuckle because that's a, a fond memory of mine. Here's another box of breed jacks with a couple random Pokemon uh, swapped in because of Wonder Box stuff. I've been Wonder Boxing my, my breed jacks, which is why there's a random Cherubi here and a Litten down here. Um, here are some Pokemon currently in my Wonder Box. <laughs> Here's a fun mini or which is cute, a Wonder Box mini ore. Yeah, there's a couple Mega Kangaskhan breed jacks in here. And here, okay, I was like, wait, oh, a shiny Dialga, where did I, wait, a shiny Garatina, wait, and then it, it, it occurred to me. <laughs> this, uh, these are my shinies that are not from Let's Go. Um, these were caught over the course of the, just the last few years, mostly, either in a Gen 6 Friend Safari Omega Ruby hunt, or potentially uh, Gen 7 SOS or legendary resetting other than Tapu Koko and Zygarde, which are events. And this, 
this shiny Dragology I got from Wonder Trade in Pokemon X version called Who Cares? It OT is it's shiny LOL. Probably not legit, but I didn't make it, and it appears legit, so I'm choosing to believe that it is. So I got to this shiny box and I realized that some of my shinies, I had, or several of my shinies, I had moved on to my uh, sword version, the ones that I could. Um, so I wanted to connect sword so you could see all of them together. Uh, there's several boxes of them. Some of the notable ones, this is Friend Safari Gen 6. This is, if you remember the excess of Remoraids I've got, these are a couple of them, plus this one over here. This is the Giratina I got right before the first encounter, Reshiram, which is all the way over here. That's the, that's Goldar, I need to train that up. There's the Cobalion I got on the last attempt of a reset, which was very cool. Uh, here's my second shiny young goose. The original one, Hero, that I got like two minutes into my sun playthrough is still on my sun, which is why it's not here. I probably should move it here. And this, this right here, this is my pride and joy. This is the first shiny I ever got in any game ever. I was 10 years old. I was 10 and got a random shiny Fero, which I cleverly named shiny and I still have it. I have brought it through all the generations since three and now it is on home. It is my rooms Pokemon on the mobile version. I love this thing. It is safe here and home, and I intend to bring it into Sword if it's added in the DLC. So I'm very proud to have this after all those years. It was not lost to the sands of time, which makes me happy. All right, here's another box. This is not a shiny. This is a Zamazenta. Uh, I really needed a Zamazenta because I didn't have one uh, that was mine. And so I... <laughs> So I put a shiny Pumpkaboo on the GTS and tweeted about it, asking for a Zamazenta, and I got one, so here it is. But these are some more, uh, that's not a shiny. You don't need to be here. Um, very shinies. These are mostly Friend Safari shinies. These are event distribution, shiny legendary beasts. We'll move to the second shiny box in here. Uh, several of these are Gen 7 ones, like Indeedee and uh, Dreadnought, of course. Uh, here's my shiny Mewtwo. This is a Rhyperior shiny I got back in Platinum version. Uh, various Magikarps from that event. This is a shiny Toxtricity because somebody else got a shiny. It was super blah. He got a shiny to Gigantamax Toxtricity raid and invited me and I hopped in. Um, here's my shiny Wartortle. Um, Here's another box of shinies. <laughs> Still, they, they they keep coming. Most of these are ultra wormhole shinies. Uh, there's a really cool shiny chestnut that I have. Um, ultra wormhole shinies are ultra sun soft resetting shinies. Do I have another one over here? No, you don't. Okay. And so yeah, that ends my yeah that ends my my shiny boxes. I've got them all spread about or among five of them. <laughs> Here's another box of a random Pokemon. I think these are Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, Pokemon. Heart Gold Soul Silver Legends. Yeah, the Lugia. That was another uh, Pokemon I used on my playthrough team. So I found another one. Hooray! Uh, I mean, at least I used it some of the time. But and then the Ho Oh from my Soul Silver. So I still have those, which is pretty cool. These are competitively perfect Phalanx. I. There's a row missing because I left a row in Sword, and there's one missing up here because it's, I think, still in Zord. Um, but these are competitively perfect ones that I got over the course of my failing shiny hunt, which I have yet to complete because my luck was terrible. Did like 1,500 eggs for various Pokemon before finally getting that Ndidi um, after breeding Ndidi for like an hour at most. So I've released a lot more competitively perfect phalanx than I have because I had so many and I was running out of room, but these are all competitively perfect. They're not EV trained, but they have the right IVs and nature and stuff like that. Um, here's Darumaka, I think competitively perfect, maybe breed jacks. I'll have to look into that. Here are various breed jacks from the MBF. I was helping um, the myself, of course, because I have Impidimp and Milsery and Mr. Mime, but then these Ghastlies are breed jacks from when I was helping breed Justin's team because he was short on time and I told him I'd help him out. The random Pokemon sprinkled in here are all from the Wonder Box. So I 
sent out a Breject and these the Wonder Box Pokemon come back in the same place. More Breedjects, the Ndidis. I was helping Justin because he had male Ndidi and that's, I got my shiny while breeding, trying to breed an Ndidi for him to use in the MBF. These are, again, Wonder Box Pokemon that have been tossed in. More Ndidi Breedjects, had quite a few of them and I didn't release any of them. I just brought them all in here. Uh, Tyrogue Breedjects, because I was helping him breed him, uh, a him on Chain and him on Lee for his team, so. And quite a few of these in here. Uh, these are low tab breed jacks from my own uh, Ludicolo and more Mr. Mimes and stuff like that. Again, Wonderbox Pokemon sprinkled throughout. Here's some cast form breed jacks. Don't know where they came from. Like they were just on my Omega Ruby. I was like, why do I have cast form breed jacks? Might as well get them off there, toss them on here. The rest of these Pokemon are Pokemon that I got in Sword to complete my Pokedex and Heroes. With the Galar Pokemon, you have to actually put them into home and save the game, unlike it seems with Bank. The, the Pokemon physically have to enter it. So there were some where I had like their evolutions, but not the other forms. And so I spent a couple hours one afternoon getting these in my sword and then just tossing them in here to complete the Pokedex. This is a random box. I don't know where all these Pokemon came from. I think th I think this is an Omega Ruby, Flaristotle, LOL. Oh, that's right. I made one competitive blade skin a while ago called Cabernicus. So I made another one called Flaristotle, fire, uh, <laughs> fire philosophers, fire philosophers. Oh, the, hey, oh, Pokemon from Pierce. Ah, oh, my old buddy Pierce. I guess, I think that was a gift competitive Gyarados from him at one point. Here is a very random box. You got Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 7 in here, no idea. Uh, <laughs> Nightwing, oh, I think this is a competitive Gliscor I made at one point, because I love me, love me some Gliscor. This is another random assortment I think I, that I yanked out of my Omega Ruby. My Omega Ruby, before removing Pokemon from it to put in home, had like 32 almost full boxes. Cause I I had a ton of Pokemon in bank and I like was just bringing entire boxes at a time into Omega Ruby to complete the national Pokedex in there, which I did. But then I like had a super full box in Omega Ruby that have just random Pokemon from all kinds of different generations, I'm sure. Probably mostly gen six, but various ones. This is a Vivian with my home region pattern. Oh, this is a, this is a, some pattern of Vivian. I don't know which one. I don't know how I got it. Maybe like surprise trade at one point, but that's cool that I have that one. Man, these, these boxes are sparse. I must've taken a lot of Pokemon out of them for the, the living decks assembly. The, why, <laughs> why are these so spread out? I wish there was a function to just like mash them all together into a, like one continuous mass like before. Cause these are just like so many boxes of just, a lot of space <laughs> and just completely, completely random assort. Ah, a Yamotal named Felipe. That's right. When I played through Y version, X was my main Kalos game. But when I played through Y version, all the main squad members I used, I named after various roommates that I had freshman year of college and Felipe was one of them. So Felipe got to be the Yamotal. Nothing of particular interest here that I can see. Uh, same, oh wait, no, no, the, the, here's the Pokeball pattern Vivian. This was an event distribution at one point. So that's really cool that I have that. Honestly, that should, I should move that to the mythical box to be with the other Vivian. That, that's probably a good idea. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put you right there. There you go. Now here's another very random assortment. That Toxicroak looks shiny, but it's not. <laughs> Toxicroak's coloration is so confusing. Like all the ones in the anime look shiny, but they're not, it's weird. I do in fact own a mill tank. It has to be done. I'm not proud of it, but there it is. I don't see anything of particular significance in this box. Spanktastic, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> what? Apparently I have a blissey from somebody named Invader Jim named Spanktastic. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, nothing of particular interest in here. I don't, oh, this is a competitive, I, uh, this is a competitive, is it competitive or is this my playthrough one? I don't remember. I don't remember if this is competitive or not. Let's look at its base points. Those look like random base points to me. I think this is my playthrough Greninja from my X version. Wow, I didn't realize I still had this. That's cool that I just found that. Good for me, wow, look at that. I have my playthrough Greninja there, that's awesome. 
Arson? This is, I, I think the name of, I think this was my playthrough Charizard from my X version. From the Kalos region. Base points are random. Nature's random. Yeah, this is my playthrough Charizard. Cool. Wow, I just found two of my X playthrough Pokemon. I didn't even, I had no idea where those were. That's like really awesome that I have those. I'm I'm happy I just found those. That's dope. All right, here's a box of mostly breed checks, but with swapped around Froakie uh, and Charmander and uh, one Kangaskhan. Here is, this is, is this my po is this my black version? I think this is my black version Samurott. I didn't nickname my playthrough team, my, or white version, excuse me, my white playthrough Samurai. I think, yeah, I think this is my uh, my playthrough team, at least three of them. This Crocodile too? Yeah, I think that's the Crocodile. I don't know where the Archeops is. And then there was one more that I'm, I'm, I'm brain farting on what my last one was. It was Archeops. Oh, Conkeldur. Is this the Conkeldur? I think it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just need to find the Archeops. Wait, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see if it's in here. It's possible that it's not. It's possible that I didn't transfer it out of my white version because it was my flyer. And it was like, anytime I'm back in my white version, I need to have a Pokemon with fly there. So it's possible that I never removed it. What is this Archeops? Level 38? Yeah, this is not the playthrough Archeops. So I think I think the Archeops is still is still on the cartridge, which I still have. I haven't cleared that save file. So I should grab that at some point. Cause that's I, I love finding playthrough Pokemon that I wasn't sure where they were. Yeah, this is this is definitely my playthrough team minus the Archeops, because they're all level 70, same OT, and uh no nicknames, because I remember vividly not nicknaming them in that playthrough. So that's really cool that I have that. Here is a uh, Random box. Oh, Mare, he was a friend of mine in college. Apparently I have a Typhlosion from him. I don't remember that, but I but I have it. This is a, ran oh, from him too. Did we trade multiple times, apparently? I don't know. <laughs> this, is a, this is a random connection. Walrus nine. That's a, that's somebody that I think that, is that Patton? Was Patton the one who always named his trainer that? I don't remember. This is a box of Pokemon I got in trades, clearly. Roidaflam. No idea what that is or where that came from. Looks like some uh, Shellos Breedjex, Eevee Breedjex. What is this Gallade? Duke. Oh, I remember Duke. This is my Omega Ruby one. This is my Omega Ruby playthrough Gallade. Look at me finding playthrough Pokemon. See, this is why I wanted to do this video because even if nobody watches this, it's fun for me. <laughs> Okay, here's here's this random box. I, I, Titan? Did I use Aggron on my team? What was my Omega Ruby team? My Omega Ruby team was Sceptile, Crobat, Manectric, Gallade, Gyarados, and I think Aggron. I think this is my playthrough Omega Ruby Aggron. Hoenn region, yeah, this has gotta be it. That's pretty cool. I need to put you over with, with Gallade. I think some of my Omega Ruby team members are still in, uh, are still in Omega Ruby. I know the Sceptile is. I think the Crobat is too. I don't know about the Gyarados though. I should search through the Gyar the Gyarados is Gyarad, Gyarad, Gyaradai? <laughs> oh, that's a bad. <laughs> I don't see anything of particular interest here. Here's a Dialga and a Palkia from Tad. Is that, oh, Tad is James's brother. Okay, apparently I got those from him at one point. Zeus, that's another Justin White 2 Pokemon. Another Miltank, ugh, ugh. Comanche, oh, this is a playthrough. This is an X playthrough Pokemon. I had a Go-Goat on my team. Is this, is this it too? Ion, wow, that was the same name I gave to my Vikavolt. I completely, in my Vikavolt in uh, Ultra Sun. Wow, I cannot remember my nicknames clearly. These need to go with, you know what? I'm just gonna need to make a box of playthrough Pokemon at some point, like separate from the living decks. We'll put you right here. There you go. This will be a row of my, I think my Xerneas is still on my X. I should just get the playthrough Pokemon off there and just have them all here in one place. Yeah, I don't see anything interesting here. Two Giratinas apparently. So Brian and Mikey, I named myself Brian one time in one of my playthrough games. Don't know why, but I did. This is a Gen 4 one. 
That is also a Gen 4 one. I guess two different Gen 4 playthroughs where I saved the Giratinas. This is a Gen 3 Groudon. The OT is Lance. I think Justin called himself that at one point, but this is a Gen 3 Groudon. I know it is, it's from the Hoenn region and it doesn't have the hexagon. I think this was Justin's at one point, he called himself Lance and I got a hold of it. So that's pretty cool, I have a Gen 3 Groudon in here. Striker, that rings a bell. How many Pokemon have I named Striker? Was this my playthrough, Manectric? Man, look at me just making discoveries today. This is amazing. Wow, man, well, thank you for, thank you for coming with me on this journey of finding all of my various playthrough teams scattered about these boxes. <laughs> Gaia. Wait, is this my playthrough Gyarados? From the Hoenn region? I think so! Amazing! I'm having so much fun. <laughs> this is, you guys should just do this uh, at, at home. Just get all Pokemon from all of your old games and just toss them into your Toss, a, toss them in your home all at once and then try and sort out the chaos. It's just, it's fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. Random Pokemon. Oh, Biz! That's a competitive Rotom I used on various locations. At least one of them. I used quite a few different Rotom washes over the years. Was this the one that I used? Yeah, this is the one I used in the, in the, um, in the Pokemon World Tournament in Black 2. Yeah, see, it's Eevee trained. It's properly Eevee trained. Yeah, cool. That's awesome that I, that I still have that. I think these are competitive ones too. I did, I used at some point, but I don't clearly remember. Yeah, that's clearly Eevee trained. So is that one. Yeah, I think I used them at some point, but the, my Pokemon World Tournament team I remember vividly was a Haxorus named Razor, which I think is still, I, I don't think it's in home. And Metagross named Optimus, which I'm very confident I have not brought into home. And then I think this, so that's cool. Okay, this, this is one I knew about. This was one I was excited to get to. This row right here, this top row of Shredder, Phoenix, Joffrey, Whirlpool, Eggy Slash, and Kaiju. This is the team of six that I used at the 2014 VGC Houston Regionals where I got 24th out of like 200 people. The only VGC competition I've ever participated in, this was my team of six. These exact six ones, this was obviously a mega mawile. So really happy that I've got all of them together. And in addition to that, I have Guardian the Gardevoir, and I used Guardian, Shredder, Phoenix, and Whirlpool to get a 50 streak in the Battle Mason doubles in my X version. Um, I, I, st I still have all of them and they're all here together. I'm gonna keep them together. I'm not gonna make these a part of the living decks because I'll just get them from elsewhere because I want to do that with the playthrough Pokemon too, actually. So I'm really, uh, it's really cool that I still have those. Oh, here's Optimus. Oh, I thought I hadn't brought him in here. Here's the, uh, this is the Metagross I used the Pokemon World Tournament. Wait, let me get, uh, let me grab you. I, I need to put you next to each other. Cool. Well, look at that. Now I just need to find Razor somewhere. Let me just do the list view. Let me see if I can find him. Okay, so Razor is not in here. Obliterate is. <laughs> Obliterate, great name. Uh, that's a competitive hack source I made in Gen 6. The one I made in Gen 5 I, clearly is not here because it would show up in the search. So that must still be on a cartridge somewhere. Here's a box of Fletchling and Rotom Breed Jacks with some Wonder Rocks Pokemon tossed in. Same thing here with, uh, oh wait. <laughs> Just the other day, the Wonder Box sent me a level 100 Magikarp from Let's Go, named Wishmaker. <laughs> it's Adamant. Uh, is it is it Eevee trained at all? It's not Eevee trained at all. Yeah, level 100 shiny Magikarp named Wishmaker. Thankfully, if I want to evolve it, which because before I couldn't, I'd just be stuck with this as a Magikarp. But thankfully, if I want to evolve it on Sword, if you have a Pokemon that would evolve by level up, but it's level 100, if you give it a rare candy, it'll evolve. So I can evolve this Magikarp if I want to. I don't know if that's necessary because I've got a ton of shiny Magikarps from the Wild Area event in my Sword already. But uh, <laughs> I just thought that's the like that's the first shiny I've gotten from a Wonder Trade type thing since like Gen 6. 
uh, when people were nicer on Wonder Trade Christmas. <laughs> More breed jacks, Fletchling, Ralts, Larvitar, breed jacks from that team that I used at the VGC Regional still have the breed jacks. More of them in here, random Pokemon from Wonder Box mixed in. This is clearly a, a box of breed jacks that has been very mixed in with uh, the the Wonder Box because the the Chanseys and Charmanders and Eevees and Bulbasaur's and Lotad those are what were the breed jacks, and the rest of them are just totally random. And I think that's it. No, nope, I have an empty box for some reason. More, there's another breed jacked box with some swapped in. Another breed jacked box with some swapped in. I have no memory of breeding fan pee, by the way. I don't know why I have some fan pee breed jacks. That's weird. Yes, this is another random box of, I have no idea. Just seemingly random Pokemon obtained for the decks and various points. And more dittos. Thank you so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. We're helping support my channel independent of fluctuating and unreliable YouTube ad revenue. If you wanna help support me in the same way and get some cool perks like your name at the end of the videos like this, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Also, if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend this video here on this channel and this video, my week two battle versus Jubilee of the Metronome Battle Federation over on my second channel. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all!